know this is a conflict of interest. I know I'm being paid to make sure you do exactly what I'm going to try to talk you out of doing. But that doesn't bother me. As I've said this a hundred times to a hundred girls a hundred nights just like this one. And I know no matter what I say, you're gonna go in there. You're going in there to give that creep your innocence. The most precious gift God ever gave to you. For what? A few dollars? Your body might walk out of that motel room, but Haley, that girl, she's going to be long gone. This isn't my first time, I'll have you know. This ain't no lap dance in some seedy strip joint on Route 46, I'll have you know. I was here last week. Same guy, same room even. Really? Yeah, he even had some convoluted fantasy worked out with me ahead of time. Convoluted fantasy? Some weird shit. Some fetish, you know, but um, he chickened out. He chickened out. Yeah, I guess he was too nervous. And you didn't see this as some moment. Oh, give me a break. All right. Maybe you'll get lucky this time, huh? Maybe he'll freeze up on you again and give you a couple more days to think about what you're going in there for. Maybe he's one of those fags that is trying to convince himself that he ain't. No matter how many times he calls the pussy line, excuse my French, he ain't gonna get into no punte. Or maybe... Maybe he's one of the millions of freaks that crawl this earth like red ants with ball sacks ready to burst. You know, dicks ain't no joke. Sooner or later, if they're not tended to properly, you can drive a man to want to do all kinds of crazy shit. You know, I've been keeping an eye on ladies like you for a long time, and I've heard some really crazy stories that would turn your stomach. Guys that want to be whipped and burnt and prodded and peed on and all sorts of convoluted fantasies. And some of these freaks, some of these freaks like to do things to girls that they were order in the back of the village voice. Disgusting stuff. I, stuff I, I don't even want to say out loud. No worry. You know, maybe this guy just wants to fuck you, pay you, and send you on your merry way. But Haley, ain't that bad enough? Huh? All right, I'm wasting my breath. You're a big girl. You're gonna do what you're gonna do. Ain't that right? When we're all done here, I'm just going to leave. I just want you to know that. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to make friends or nothing. It's nothing personal. It's just the way it is. It's fine. I wouldn't expect anything else from someone like you. Like what? Nothing. Someone like me? Someone like me? Do you don't know the first fucking thing about me. Don't do it. You shouldn't do it. Oh, again? I'm sorry. I can't do it. Wrong. We're here to do what I'm here to do. What I'm here to do. It's not normal. It's not normal. And you? You're not a bad person. You, sh you, sh you shouldn't be doing this. Take your pants off. 
guilt. Guilt is unnatural. We all have our reasons for things. You, me, everyone. And this, this has nothing to do with it. That's it. Point of no return. You call that? Uh, I got one for your collection. No, I don't think I want to hear it. No! no! Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Buy me a cup of coffee, I'll tell you all about it. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 